Um, I do a lot of talking uh, around the country now. I attend a lot of events, a lot of conferences, lots of seminars. And I am genuinely excited about this one. It's an area I'm, I'm quite passionate about because I've seen the end result of uh, young people who flourish in an expedition and a, a leadership environment and seeing what they can achieve and that latent potential for every young person to be a leader. And I think this is the perfect forum and the perfect group of people to, to be sort of addressing that message to. So in a nutshell, it's a kind of clarion call to say, let's not forget the importance of developing leadership in young people. I think um, with the HMT, you're dealing with a very formidable group of people who um, are very professional. They tend to be at the cutting edge of educating and training young people. So they're the ideal group of people to get together in a room and say, look, please don't forget this. Don't forget the importance of developing leadership in the next generation. I'm aware that to a degree I'm preaching to the choir. I'm aware that leadership is already important, very important within an HMC and it's taught within a lot of the schools. Um, but I think it's just saying, is, is there something here we can take forward? Is there a working model? Can we get our heads together here and say, right, this is a working model for leadership because every school teaches leadership differently. And I'm wondering if there's a chance to get together and actually say, right, let's establish a working format, a working framework, a working model that we can try out, and we can develop, and we can use our experience and our contacts to build something meaningful and then take it out to the wider education community so lots and lots of young people can benefit from it. I see teams go from that state to that state <laughs> very, very quickly. So in a way, I see the DNA, I see the hard drive of people because I see them under massive stress. Young people today are under massive pressure. Schools are under massive pressure to deliver results, things you can measure, things you can put numbers on. And the problem with developing leadership, which is one of the most important skills in life, and the ability to communicate, and the ability to make a plan and convince people about a plan and operate under pressure, it's, these are all such key skills, but you can't put numbers on them. And as such, I think schools are under huge pressure to deliver in other areas, and maybe things like leadership and communication get sidelined a little bit. As introducing people to large animals, putting them in the proximity of large animals that can eat them. And we all react to that in quite a visceral way. Well, one of the most elemental environments you can put anyone into in terms of stress is putting them in a situation with a large animal that potentially can eat them. And we respond to that in a very basic way. In my particular area, sharks. So I've done a lot of expeditions over the years putting people from all backgrounds and all walks of life into an environment that I know is safe, is very, very safe. But they don't know it's safe. And knowledge is power in those situations, I know that they're going to be fine in there. But uh, you get, a, you really strip down to the veneer, you remove that veneer of civilization, you strip down to the inner core of seeing what makes us as individuals tick, what makes teams tick, what makes leaders tick, when you put them in a situation like that. So it's something I've enjoyed doing slightly too much over the years.